How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Superpower Reviews. My name is Liam Smith and today we're going to be reviewing the Harley Quinn Pudding Pop life-size gloved hand statue from Cryptozoic Entertainment. Hey, you're not my pudding! Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box. First thing is an image of the statue itself on the front with the Harley Quinn logo. Flipping around to the side of the box, another image of the statue, and you also have an animated image of Harley Quinn. Flipping around to the back of the box, have a full animated image of Harley Quinn along with all the information about the statue. So let's go ahead and get the Harley Quinn Puddin' Pop from Cryptozoic Entertainment out of the box and take a closer look. Okay, so first thing I want to mention as I'm taking this out of the box, you see I do have it removed. It was wrapped in plastic. The packaging could be a little bit better. You can see there's basically styrofoam flakes everywhere. The way that they molded this to fit the hand in there was, was very sloppy, and there is styrofoam absolutely everywhere. The Joker companion hand didn't have that issue, so something with the way they cut this styrofoam just didn't turn out very well. And I've already cleaned up most of the styrofoam. It was absolutely everywhere when I first opened it. Okay, so as you probably know, this is the companion piece to the previously reviewed Joker gloved hand from Cryptozoic Entertainment. I was really impressed with how they did the Joker hand, and from what I can see so far, going to be just as impressed with the Harley Puddin' Pop hand as well. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. Obviously, you got the main statue, which we'll go over in just a moment. Have the theme of the glove, which is the Puddin' Pop with the Joker's face. It is a plastic stem on it. I did notice when I was unpacking it that it was slightly bent inside of the box, which is not a big deal. Once you put it in there, you really can't notice it. And just like the Joker hand, you have the Certificate of Authenticity. This one is 1723 out of 2,000 pieces made. And on the back of the certificate, just more information about the statue, similar to what is on the back of the box. The first thing we'll take a look at is the Joker Puddin' Pop that comes with it. I'm really happy with the way they did this because it is a translucent green. It does look like a lollipop and they didn't put a Joker sticker on it. That's actually painted on there. So that will definitely last a lot longer and it is just higher quality overall being painted. And it does have the same image on both sides. As far as the assembly, it's pretty simple. There's just a hole drilled between the thumb and the index finger and it just simply slides in there like this. It does take a little bit of maneuvering to get the correct angle, but once you get the right angle, it just slides right in there. All right, so I went ahead and removed the Joker lollipop from her hand just so we could go ahead and get a closer look at the sculpt of the hand itself. Now the first thing I'm noticing on this is they did a really great job on the paint apps. It is a, a red leather glove, but I like the fact that they put some nice shading in it. The base color is a matte red, but if you look closely you can see some blacks and grays shaded in the shadows and the wrinkles. Gives it a nice worn, almost kind of dirty look to it. Now let's talk about the sculpt overall. That's something that's really impressive. Just like the Joker hand, they got a really realistic grip on the hand. I like how they did, just like Harley Quinn would be, she's gripping it, but she does have her pinky up on the side. The sculpt itself of the finger is very realistic. Almost looks like they probably molded a human hand in a glove just to get the original mold for the sculpture. And if you look at the side, the line work and the fine details along the seams are, is done really well too. The wrinkles in between, this line that follows the seam of the glove on all the sides. Perfectly sculpted and like I said, shaded perfectly to give it a nice natural look. Okay, and if we move on down to Harley's classic ruffled cuff, they did a great job on this as well. This is not a mixed media material piece. This is a hard sculpt, just like the rest of the glove. They did an excellent job on this. If you look at all the different waves that are in the ruffle, to have this in a hard sculpture is actually really impressive. Now, if we take a look at the bottom, one thing about this one I noticed when I first put it on the table is it is a little less stable than the Joker hand was. You can see how skinny this base is. It's very thin compared to the Joker, which was about as wide as this entire cuff. Now, taking a look at the base, it also does have the Harley Quinn logo, the edition number, 1723 out of 2000, and of course, all the information on the statue once again. And like I did mention before, the entire statue, the cuff, the hand, the base, everything is made out of poly resin, so it has a really good weight to it. So even though the base is a little bit narrow, it has enough weight to it to where it is going to sit very solid. 
All right, so I went ahead and brought the Joker hand in here just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. These obviously are companion pieces. They go really great together. You can display them right next to each other just like this. Works perfectly. Now you can see the proportions they got pretty accurate as well. Of course, the Joker hand is slightly bigger being a male hand, and they made Harley's hand a little more petite, skinnier fingers, smaller hand overall with a smaller wrist. Really good job making sure that they display well together. Now one last thing about the statue that I like is just like the Joker statue, you can display it at multiple different angles. You can see as the statue spins around here that doesn't matter what angle you display it at, it still looks good so you can change it up whenever you like to. And there is another hand coming out soon that matches these statues. It is the classic Batman gloved hand holding a Batarang. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and scan around, give you the close-ups, the 360, all of the details on this Harley Quinn put in pop life-size statue from Cryptozoic Entertainment. I did it! Big J is going to be so proud. I wish everyone could wear it, but Mr. J says only the baddest and craziest out there are good enough. Okay, and that's going to wrap it up for this review of the Harley Quinn Pudding Pop life-size statue from Cryptozoic Entertainment. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this statue. And don't forget to subscribe. That way you won't miss any upcoming content. Mr. J 